Good morning, everyone, and welcome to AOC. No, this is not Elon Musk's new girlfriend. This is Advent of Code. If you're not familiar, Advent of Code is a contest that happens every day in December, starting December 1st, ending on Christmas. Every day, you're given a new challenge on adventofcode.com. The goal is to write a computer program that solves this challenge, and each challenge has two parts. So it's going to have an easier part and a hard part. If you do the easier part, you unlock the harder part, and then you can solve that. You get up to two points each day for solving this, and there's also a leaderboard for the first 100 people to solve each of these challenges. So if you're one of the first 100, you get some additional bonus points for that. We're going to try and get on that, but... Since the contests start with really easy problems, I imagine we have a much lower chance of doing well at all in the beginning when it's just a typing contest because lots of people can type easy programs fast. But I think once the problems get a bit harder later on in December, we might stand more of a chance of being in the top 100. Also, I want to um, just say before this starts in two minutes that in general, Releasing solutions to a programming contest when the contest is still going is a terrible idea. However, it says directly here, um, if you read this paragraph, it says, if the daily leaderboard is already full, and my understanding is if 100 people have solved it, then it's okay for you to share the solution. So I will be uploading this. And I'll kind of explain the thought process and my solution as well. So you can look at my code and see if that helps you solve the problem yourself. I'll be using VS Code in Java. Uh, I'll also be reading from a file. So uh, this this first line here, this scanner, this reads from a file called input.txt. Um, I did just a little bit of practice to see how things worked. But yeah, so I'm going to just paste the input when I get it. I'm going to paste it into this file, and then uh, it will all be here. And then this is a, a hard read that it's going to involve just a list of numbers for the, f the first day. So this might speed things up a bit. But I guess we'll see. By the way, if you're seeing this video when it's uploaded, if you've subscribed, then you should be able to very easily just go to adventofcode.com. Uh, if you want to, you can go now before you even see the problem. So you'll have no spoilers. And then you can see how I did it. Compare your solution to mine. Get ready to read. Get ready to type. Um, okay. Elves uh, goes on foot. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Carrying the most calories. Okay. So the new empty new lines matter. Um, all right. Let's do this. So. We had this, um, yeah, okay. So while fs dot has next, uh, okay, we probably want has next line even. So if line dot uh, length equals zero, then um, ants equals math dot max of ants or cur and then cur equals zero else cur plus equals integer dot parse int line and then sys out the ants which I'm already doing okay let's get your puzzle input here we go um oh and then here we go we'll say ants equals math dot max of ants or cur once more at the end here Save this. Does it end in a new line? No. Okay. We should be fine. Let's run this. Um, okay. Yes. And then let's submit this. It's the right answer. Okay. Rank this. All right. Can I need a part two? Um, by the time you realize the questions, you may have already run out of snacks. To avoid this, they would like to know the total number of carries by the top three elves. Okay, and the sum, yes. So this is very easy. We'll say array list integer res, new array list 
um, then we'll say res.addcur, and then res.addcur, and then collections.sort um, res, and then ants equals res dot get res dot size minus one plus this plus this oops okay we need minus two and minus three semicolon um import collections okay and then we'll do the same thing here. It's a bigger number, looks reasonable. Let's see. I've completed day one. All right, so this star is leaderboard. So it looks like the, okay. Yeah, so it looks like the leaderboard is full. Okay, so I didn't I didn't get it, which is fine. We didn't get in the top 100. Yeah, we were. Yeah, we were like 500 and 300, I guess. Um, cool. So double star. I don't know what these mean. Maybe this forms a picture or something. I guess we'll see. Um, yeah, okay. I'll talk about my solution here real quick. The The idea is we need to read this input and we need to keep track of when there's an empty new line. And we want the range sums for each of these ranges and we want to know which one's the biggest. So I'm going to store the biggest answer in this ants variable and then the sum of the current set of, of calories that this elf has eaten in cur. Uh, so as the elf has another snack, I will add this to the current calorie count. And then once this elf is over and we start processing the next elf, I will consider this elf as a possible answer by setting ants equal to whichever is bigger, all of the elves we've seen before, or this elf. That's what's going on here. So we'll go through line by line. Uh, this part just reads my input from instead of usually if you did uh, a scanner, you would do scanner fs new scanner uh, system.in. This would read from just the normal input. But we're not doing that. We're reading from a file instead. That way I can just paste my input into this file, uh, which is what I did. Very nice and easy. Then we have these two variables. We set them equal to zero. Uh, and then we're going to go until we run out of input. So we're going to keep going through each of the lines of input. If the line is blank, that means it's the end of one elf. So we mark the answer as potentially it could be this elf, this elf's current calorie count, or it could be one of the previous elves. So that's what, what happens here. We also need to reset the curve variable for the next elf. And then uh, otherwise, if it's not zero, this is a snack owned by this elf. So we add the total to this elf. And then finally, we, um, we might have an elf at the end that's like a, a trailing list of calories that doesn't have a new line after it. So one option is I could just add a new line here, like I'd add a new line to the data, but I, I chose not to. And uh, that's that's what this line of code is doing here. Because it, it's possible we don't have the new line, so we don't actually process the last elf if we're not careful. And then that's what happens here. We print the answer. In the hard version of this problem, you need to get the sum of the elves with the three biggest calorie counts rather than just the elf with the biggest. So to do this, I add all of the calorie counts to an array list. Then I sort the array list and get the sum of the last three. And that does that for me very easily. Okay. Yeah, that's the idea. That is the solution to day one of Advent of Code. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.